Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be telling you about one of the more desirable suburbs in the Baton Rouge area. I'm in Prairieville, Louisiana. And I'm going to tell you about some of the reasons that a lot of people love Prairieville. And I'm going to tell you a few reasons why it may not be the best choice for you. So if you want to follow along with that, make sure you stick around because I'm getting into it right now. All right, guys, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean Ramos, and this is Living in Louisiana, where we talk about everything that you need to know when it comes to what it's like moving to and living in Louisiana. So if that sounds like something you'd be into, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell because I'm putting out new videos just like this one every single week. And in case you didn't know, I am a licensed realtor in the state of Louisiana. So that number that's popping up on your screen right now, that's the best way that you can reach out to me. And I am the guy that's going to reply to every single call, text, or email that comes through. As much as I do love making these videos for you guys, what I really love is to help you with your real estate needs. And that's exactly why I make these videos. So if you have any specific questions or needs when it comes to making the move to Louisiana, don't hesitate to reach out and happy to help you guys any way I can. All right, with all that being said, let's get into what you're here for. We're going to be talking about Prairieville, Louisiana. So a few quick facts. The city of Prairieville is located just southeast of Baton Rouge. So if you're driving out of Baton Rouge on I-10, you're going to drive straight into Prairieville. Some of the main roads that you'll be traveling on through Prairieville are I-10, which goes from the west coast to the east coast. But here in Louisiana, it connects Baton Rouge to New Orleans. And then also you've got US Highway 61, which is airline highway. And that's where a lot of the growth is happening. So a lot of restaurants and shops and things like that you're gonna find on airline highway. If you're living in the Prairieville area, it's likely that you're gonna use airline highway pretty frequently. And this may or may not matter to you, but if it does, Prairieville is gonna be a little more conservative leaning than like a Baton Rouge. So if you look at this map on bestneighborhood.org, uh, it shows that Baton Rouge is going to be more liberal. You know, when you get to the pink parts, you're a little more split evenly. And then when you get into the redder parts, the darker red you get, the more conservative you get. So you'll see on the map, Baton Rouge is blue and it starts getting lighter as you go. So you get past the pink and when you're in Prairieville, you're, you're a little more red. So you're more conservative leaning, but not quite as much as like a Livingston Parish if you look at the map, which is super red. And when you're talking your homeowner to renter ratio, in Prairieville, about 90% of people own their homes and about 10% rent. So there are some rental options available, but it's more of a place to be looking in if you're looking to buy a house. All right, so let's get in some of the pros and cons. So I'm generally a pretty positive guy, so we'll start with the pros. Pro number one is gonna be that Prairieville ranks pretty high in most categories on niche.com. Now we're talking just the Baton Rouge area. Prairieville ranks number one place to raise a family, number two in best suburbs to live in and best public schools, and they rank number three in best place to buy a house. And if you wanna see more about how niche.com does their rankings or check out some more of the rankings because there are plenty more, you can check out that website. Now pro number two is the proximity to things in Baton Rouge that you may use often. And when I'm thinking proximity, I'm thinking the distance that it takes you to get to some of the shopping, some of the entertainment, restaurants, things like that, and the airport. So let's go through them. So from the Prairieville exit on I-10, if you're driving into Baton Rouge, if you're going shopping, uh, the places that come to mind from there, you're gonna be going to the Mall of Louisiana, and you're going to be going to Perkins Row. Those are two of the more popular shopping options there. And to get to both of those, because they're close to each other, it's about a 15 minute drive or so. And if you're heading to LSU for a game day, it's about a 20, 25 minute drive to get to campus. And if you're going to downtown Baton Rouge around a third street area, where you wanna check out some of the nightlife and the restaurants and more popular places in downtown, it's about a 20 minute drive. And if you do some traveling, if you're going to the Baton Rouge Airport, it's about a 30 minute drive from Prairieville. But I think the majority of people tend to fly out of New Orleans when they're going. Um, so it's about an hour to the airport in New Orleans. All right, and pro number three is gonna be the public schools. I think this is the main reason that a lot of people choose to live in Prairieville versus in the city. 
Now, no matter where you live in Prairieville, you're gonna have really good options for your elementary and your middle schools. But depending on exactly where you live in Prairieville, uh, your high school age kids are gonna go to one of three schools right now. They're either gonna be in Santa Mall High School, East Ascension High School, or Dutchtown High School. Now they're actually in the process of building a brand new Prairieville High School right now. And from what I'm reading, the doors are gonna be open to that one fall of 2024. And if you look on the website, looks like a super nice facility. All right, so those are the pros. Those are some of the reasons that people love Prairieville, but let's get into some of the cons because it's not all perfect. Con number one is gonna be the commute. So if you're living in Prairieville, chances are you're driving to and from Baton Rouge to work. So that morning commute and, that, and the evening commute coming back home can be a little slower moving. But what I will say is that it is 100% better now than it was a while back. It used to be that in Baton Rouge, you would have three lanes on the interstate and it would bottleneck down to two as soon as you left Baton Rouge. So that would just back everything up for miles and you'd stop and go traffic a lot. Um, but now they've widened the interstate all the way to Prairieville exit on I-10. So traffic moves a lot better. It can get slower moving at times, but typically if there's no accident or anything like that, um, you're gonna be moving. Con number two is that Prairieville is growing really fast. If you talk to some of the locals, they'll say that it's growing faster than the infrastructure can keep up with. And there is some truth to that. I, you tend to see that everywhere around here that they're not building the infrastructure in preparation for the growing population. It seems like we're always just trying to catch up. Now con number three is the housing prices. Because Prairieville is so popular and so desirable, you're gonna pay more to live there. Now when you're talking rentals, your average one bedroom is gonna be a little over $1,000 a month. Your average two bedroom is gonna be about 1150 a month. The average three bedroom rental is gonna be about 1450 a month. And if you're looking in the four bedroom range, then you're looking around $1,900 a month. But when you're talking about buying a house, there are some options in the 200. So there are some affordable options in the area still, but you'll have more choices when you're getting into the 300s and the 400s. And when you get into the 500s and above, then you're looking at some more luxury type homes and some really nice neighborhoods. And if you wanna get really nice, there are some neighborhoods like St. Andrews where you can get into the million plus range on one acre lots or more. Now, when you're comparing renting to buying for a one, two or three bedroom more than likely, you'll pay less for rent right now than you will buying a house because of the interest rates that we have. But when you get to the point where you're looking into a four bedroom rental and you're paying $1,900, $2,000 a month, then maybe it's time to think about buying instead. That makes sense. And if that's something you're interested in and you need to have that conversation, don't forget I am a licensed realtor in the state of Louisiana. I'm here to be a resource for you for anything real estate related at all. So that number that's popping up on your screen right now, that's the best way to reach out to me. And I'm gonna answer every single call, text, or email that comes through. And I don't care whether you need to make a move right now, if you're just thinking about moving in the future, uh, we can just get the conversation started now. And I've got a 100% no pressure policy. So don't hesitate to reach out if there's anything I can help you with. You guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one.